The answer to the Durban II conference in Geneva is the March of the Living at Auschwitz. That's the view of Holocaust survivor, former chief rabbi, and chairman of Yad Vashem, Rabbi Yisrael Meir Lau. The rabbi spoke to IBA's Steve Leibowitz at the Auschwitz concentration camp. I am here from the very first March of the Living, which took place in 1988. Every year, every time, there is a special event. But this one, of course, is uh, on the background. I wouldn't say in the shadow of Geneva, Durban II. This is the answer to Durban II. If you see thousands of youth, Jewish children, boys and girls from about 50 different states all over the globe, this is a demonstration, not only that Holocaust existed, to deny the deniers, but this is also a demonstration for the desire, our desire for life and for understanding with the entire world, except those who have some motives which are very unknown to me, like the president of Iran. Can you explain me what is his interest to deny Holocaust? Is he a historian, a professor of history in the academy life? What's his interest? Must be some interest. I am a little bit afraid of that interest. And I have learned that we do have to take very seriously people, even if you think they are a little bit abnormal, take them seriously. We saw it here. This is my first time here. I was actually a little bit reluctant to come because I just didn't want to look back that far, you know, but I s noticed here, and I was surprised about this, the outpouring of friendship for many of the Polish people, many hundreds of Poles that are here today to give out flowers and cards of friendship with the Jewish people. Is it time, perhaps, to look ahead? Look, Poland have boycotted this meeting in uh, Geneva. Poland is one of the countries who said no to this initiative of that convention in Geneva. We have many things in common. I'm very happy that this is your feeling. I was born here in Poland. We were here three and a half million Jews in Poland in 1939. Our contribution to this country and to the nation you cannot describe in words. So I am very happy that your feeling is accordingly, that they know to appreciate how important is the friendship with Israel and with the Jewish people. We were in Krakow yesterday and we noticed that the synagogues uh, are flourishing, the Jewish quarter is even being rebuilt, even without Jews, right? Klezmer festivals and so on. But the Poles seem to want to get connected to the Jewish heritage that no longer exists here. They have an interest also. It's not just, just a solidarity with our heritage. It's an interest to bring tourists, to bring you, to bring the Israeli television. It's a good promo for the interest of this country, but this is permitted. So, you, from your point of view, the, the, Pol, the Polish government is, is positive, is looking forward, yeah. and is... I was at the cornerstone putting of the Jewish Museum in Warsaw a year, two years ago. Uh, I think that we can live in uh, a way of understanding, even French.